Hi guys, this is Josh from Pomeroy Creative. Today we're looking at Mischief as well as some of the tools that I use on my mobile device. I switched to Android as my primary mobile device um, about a year ago and I got the, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and I really have been enjoying it. Now this isn't necessarily a, a review video about um, Galaxy or Samsung or any of that, um, but I did want to, to just give give a mention because um, I've been using this for little thumbnail sketches and with Google's update to uh, to uh, keep Google keep now if you haven't heard about Google keep or haven't been using it uh, I'd suggest giving it a, a shot uh, it's really a great little app um, I'm gonna pull it up right here because this is really where this uh, this little project began and um, I'm just going to go back over here to the web browser you see here in my inbox uh, I've got these little snapshots and this this was sketched out in Google Keep um, they have added in Google Keep uh, drawing notes so uh, you see you see my phone here and I've got several different uh, little sketches in here and I'm going to open this one up bub sketches and we can edit this so a little bit of a delay because I'm connected uh, to the screen recorder uh, via Wi-Fi so anyway so here we are and this is actually really phenomenal uh, even with the delay you can see how how responsive this um, this little app is and I'm not exactly sure what sort of technology it's using um, to me it's really obvious that there's some vector data going on when I draw lines but right now there's no uh, vector output possible basically you just send this note to your email or you can send it all sorts of different ways but it uh, will um, it will output it as an image file like a JPEG. Anyway, um, so far I'm kind of fine with that because what this is really great for me, um, why this is really great for me is it's just doing these little things like this, these little thumbnail sketches. They're so quick. Um, this is the kind of stuff that I would do on paper. And uh, you know, really loose like this, okay? And I, I have a couple of uh, different brushes here, or pens. So I've got one for sort of my sketch. And then, uh, now watch when you erase. You see how it erases just like it would, it was a vector shape. So it deletes the entire shape. So to me, it's really obvious that I'm not drawing pixels here. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that they that they will uh, allow an SVG export or a PDF or something that will maintain um, vector information because th that would be just phenomenal. I really like the, the highlighter. I've used that for lots of different things. So anyway, uh, this is how I, I made these little sketches. So from there, I just sent it to my email address and we'll bring up my email right over here. And then uh, I've got it just imported into Mischief. And now in Mischief, basically I'm, I'm using Mischief because it's just freaking awesome. Um, you have an infinite canvas. And so actually the, the entire a book I'm, these are book illustrations by the way so the entire book is going to be illustrated in one document uh, just thought that would be really interesting to do and use mischief as my, um, my platform for for doing this this book illustration so you see how I've got everything just kind of willy-nilly here on the page but I've given uh, enough room for every illustration to be able to crop it out or export it out uh, individually What's really 
um, great about mischief is this sort of um, resolution independent drawing and painting. You can see I can just continue zooming in. This is an infinite zoom, by the way. So I could just continue zooming in, and now I could start drawing in here as if this was my my uh, full canvas size, which would be kind of strange when, when I zoom out. But so here's a really blobby eye. But you can see I, I'll start zooming out, and that tiny little eye now is in the, like one strand of hair. So um, there's some really incredible capabilities here in Mischief. And uh, the, the line work is what I am thrilled by. Let me turn off my sketch layer. So what I've done is, is basically imported those, those thumbnail sketches from, uh, from Google Keep into Mischief as, as a separate layer. And I've just taken the, the transparency of that layer. And then I'm drawing over it again. And this, this allows me a couple of things. One, it lets me see my work again with, uh, with more fresh eyes than when I initially sketched it. Also, doing this all in one document gives me immediate reference to, to how my characters look throughout the book. So I really want to make sure that you see I have here sort of these, um, the, this is his sort of profile uh, illustrations for the, for the character. And so he's got a lot of personality. I want to make sure he maintains his identity through the entirety of the, of the book as it's being illustrated. So doing it all in one infinite canvas document is actually perfect for that. So I just want to show you that now the line work in Google Keep is actually pretty impressive. Um, like I said, it's using some kind of vector uh, math rather than drawing pixels, but there's no vector output. And so I'm left with a pretty low res um, image file when all is said and done. Now you can see I'm just kind of Making <laughs> making several lines here. I might actually turn this a little bit. This is also very cool. You can do this in Photoshop, but you you don't get some of the things in Photoshop that Mischief gives you. One, it really is focused on illustration, so um, and and artwork, and being able to output that at any size you want. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So. Other than that, it's actually very similar as far as the interface, the shortcut keys, all of that. I haven't had to set up anything new to just feel very familiar with it and, uh, and get right into to drawing and painting. So happy about that. Now you see how I'm changing some things and I'm using this sort of as a guide. That's why I do these thumbnail sketches. It's my guide. It's not the end all. Uh, this allows me to um, look more objectively at my own work and hopefully make a better version of it than the, than the first one. Some things I tidy up, some things I make even more loose and sketchy. So he's got a very curly sort of faux hawk. Okay. And it's just kind of trimmed here on the sides. So this whole this whole book, um, I want I want to have this kind of loose, organic feel, but actually very very clean. And what I mean by clean is. Um, there's no paper texture. There's no uh, sort of blotchiness that you would get from scanning scanning an artwork. Uh, there's no grain. It's just very clean in the sense that it looks like it's done by hand, but there's there's no um, artifacts. 
from uh, uh, from the paper and that kind of thing. And what's what I what I like about this is that this will sit very very nicely with the um, the text on the page because there won't be there won't be any art in any artifacts in that either. So we'll have a very nice looking page layout. So trying these sort of bubbly fingers here. And this is his baby gate and uh, I'm gonna rotate this again here, get my line. So, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of purposely making some very loose, sketchy lines because I want it to have that handmade feel. It's not all perfect and symmetrical shapes and all that kind of stuff, so. Really borrowed a lot of inspiration from uh, Charles, Charles Schultz. He's one of my, one of my favorite cartoonists. Yeah. It was a very interesting two-dimensional style. Um, and his characters are just fantastic. And uh, I, I uh, actually took the same correspondence course that Charles Schultz took when he was learning how to draw. And I'm very proud of that. A lot of people's shoulders that I have been able to climb on that I very much appreciate. Especially some of his early work that was very rough and loose and, and brilliant uh, that I really uh, took some cues from. This one you see is actually pretty, pretty much just what I had in the um, Google Keep note, and uh, so one. Uh, it's very, very neat to see that what I what I created on my mobile device was was something that I was very very happy with and ended up being extremely close to the final result. Now, when I want to turn the sketch later off, you see how much cleaner this actually is than the original. But I haven't deviated as far as the, the composition or even much of the line work from the Google Keep Note drawing. And again, I just I, I love how smoothly this this operates, which is partly what makes it so fun 
And so, um, easy, quick, quick to work with. It, uh, it just seems speedy and not laggy. If I get this many many lines in Photoshop, one I'm, I'm I'd have to start at a at high enough resolution because I'm drawing in pixels. But this, I'll show you in a second, it doesn't matter. I'm going to fix this a little bit, make it a little bit shorter. And the, the pressure sensitivity of these, I mean, this is just sort of the basic round brush, um, but it's just fantastic. All right. So that is pretty much it. I'm going to reorient that. Make sure that he looks right, and he does. I, I think he looks great next to everyone else. Uh, one thing is I've given him sort of three stripes on his shirt here. He's going to have that throughout the whole book, so we'll put those in. It's, it just feels to me, and I, li I like this, um, like I'm drawing with ink, like a, a proper wet ink, you know what I mean? Like not a, not a pen, but a nib or, or even a brush. All right, so I like that. It's got those stripes. Okay, all right, so now I'm going to show you. Let me make a selection here. Make sure I've got everything in it. Let me redo that just to make sure I get the bottom part there. Okay, I go to File, Export Image, and I'm going to do the selection. And right here, you see 300 DPI. And I could I could resize it here if I wanted to, and I'm also going to hide the paper background, so it's only going to export the black ink strokes. And um, this is just great. Okay, so this is bub. Baby gate. Okay, let's save that. So I'm saving this as a, as a very high resolution PNG. And here is a previous one that I, I did, which I need to crop. And there we have what we just finished. So you can see I can choose the size and the resolution after the fact, after I've already, already drawn it. Let me just do this, this again and show you. I'll, I'll change it here to something else. I'm going to do export the selection and I'm going to make the inches here at least four, four inches tall. And the resolution I'm going to do um, 600 DPI. And hit next. And I'll export. And I want to save over my last one. Yep, replace it. 
Okay, I'm just going to do the same thing with this one up here. So file, export image. I'm going to choose inches. I'm going to make the height at least four inches. And make sure I have it on the selection. I'm exporting at a resolution of 600. I'm not hiding the paper background, so I'm just exporting the black ink lines. And this one is, do you smell that PNG? Okay. And just to really kind of show you, I guess um, I'll bring this into, just open it in, in uh, Chrome here. And if I zoom in at 100%, you see how large this is now. This is a big image. And you see how clean it is. How, how sort of natural yet clean it looks. And I really like that. Let me open the other one here. Zoom in at 100%. Nice and huge. Really, it's, it's very big, especially for the small, small uh, scale of the book that we're going to be creating. So I can send these off now to the author and... Uh, I've sent her, the other great thing about Google Keep is I can send her these little thumbnail sketches, which she loved. And so all I have to do is use mischief like this, clean them up, make sure that I have a continuity with my character throughout the, the whole process here. And uh, we just keep going. So um, we'll have... We'll have a bunch more illustrations. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this inspired or helped somebody. Um, do, do check out uh, Google Keep, um, especially if you've got a, a phone that has a stylus. The Note is, is fantastic. Um, for the new MacBook Pro, that'd be very interesting if you happen to have one. Uh, tell me how Keep works on there. And, especially with the, the new uh, Apple, Apple Pencil and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, leave me your thoughts, comments. Please subscribe, like the video, share it, and um, support this channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.